Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are doing a hair review. As you guys can see, Lock Braids sent me a package. They sent me their boho lock extensions in the inches 22. I'm also showing you guys the goodies that came in the bag. So it literally came with everything you need to do your hair. They sent me three bundles in 22 inches, like I said, and it comes with 24 locks per pack. The hair is 100% human hair. I know we all love a human hair, okay? So the curls that are fed into the locks are 100% human. And I'm just showing you guys how it came straight out of the packaging. And it also came how any other um, crochet lock would come pre-looped and everything. So yeah, this is the hair fresh out of the packaging. And I didn't speed this part up because I just want y'all to get into it, okay? Get into it. Also, by the end of this video, if you guys would like to get this same exact hair, make sure you check out the link below and you can use code AJ20 to get 20% off your order. And when I tell y'all this hair is 100% worth it, and you will see once we get to the end of the video with the full install process we only used one pack of this and it was in 1b we paid 9.99 for the pack uh i don't know what inch it was y'all i'm sorry but yeah so we're gonna use the jam extra hole for today's style as you can see i started with the foundation of parting the whole front out and i always do more in the back than in the front and we're gonna just pre-part her whole head out y'all like I feel like that just works easier for me pre-parting and then doing the locks because we are doing them individually. We don't really like the look of it being crochet, so we always do our crochet locks individual. So I just part it and I braid it. And I'm gonna continue that. <laughs> Y'all see her. I'm gonna continue that throughout her whole head until we complete it. But I just want to come on and show y'all we and also we are doing the back bigger than the front because once again. You're only going to see the front for real, for real, if you get what I'm saying. And you always want the front to be like, it give extra, okay? So, yeah, that's what we're doing. Please don't mind her all that moving, y'all, because I'm not editing all that stuff out. I told her don't move. So, yeah, here we are. Just prepping and pre-parting. That just makes it easier. Alright boo and just like that we are done the bag. This is how it look. I'm just showing y'all a quick little okay one two. But yeah y'all let's move on to the front. Alright now that the whole head is completely pre-parted it's now time to add the extensions in. As you can see I did do the top a little smaller like I told you guys. So yeah let's get into the install part. So I'm going to keep this part slowed down just so y'all can see what I am doing. I'm basically just taking the little piece and sliding it down as much as it can go so I can make the hole a little bigger. And then I'm going to take my crochet needle and crochet it to the ends of her hair. And then I will braid it in. So you will see me crocheting it into the ends of her hair. And I will show y'all an easier way because y'all... I fucked that one up, but hey, I ain't do crochet in a minute. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to reshow y'all. But as you can see, I added it on to the end and I'm gonna just braid her real hair in. Just so it don't have that big old hump. Y'all know what I'm talking about. That hump is not cute, boo. So this is how you don't get the hump. You just add it on to the ends. And I will show y'all a better clip. Once I find it, I will point it out. Okay, here's a better clip. You want to start off with the lock on the crochet needle. Y'all saw in the beginning I didn't do that. So it's easier to start with it on. And I'm just showing y'all how I'm separating a piece. Close the latch. Pull it through. And then you will braid it on. 
and it's going to stay. So that's all you do for the whole head and we're going to repeat this step until we get all of the locks in and i know y'all see my sister in the front helping she do hair too like she braid so she's helping me so this video could go by a little faster y'all because we was doing these locks for a few hours i was running low on energy so i was like girl help your girl out please so that's her adding them at the top so yeah y'all <laughs> So now here's after I added all the locks in the bag and we are now about to start wrapping the Marley hair that we bought around the roots. So we used a really thin piece and we also cut the hair in half so we literally only used one pack and still had hair left. And the trick to doing this is you don't want to do it super tight and close together. You want to kind of do it spaced out so it could give that more not stiff because that shit hurts okay it hurts when it's too tight and it's very uncomfortable to your client so here's an up close and personal so y'all can see how it looks once i wrap it around we also burned it just a little but i didn't show that part until we got maybe to the middle because she wanted me to start burning them but when i normally do my locks y'all i don't burn them i just rub it in between my palms but we're going to continue doing this on the whole head y'all so i won't be showing the whole process of me doing this but y'all get the vibes of what i'm doing and it really didn't take too long we just started kind of late so yeah hope y'all are enjoying this video and make sure you tune into that description box for all the details on this hair the hair was super soft no smell i absolutely love it no shedding and at the end you're gonna see all i literally used was mousse and it made the curls pop so good super cute and yeah y'all it's so lightweight as well so make sure y'all use my code it will be linked below okay period and get that 20 percent off girl yeah. Yep, we moving fast, huh, girl? Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, your girl is done with the bag. Look at the bag. Look how neat it looks. It looks super cute. It gives very much not bulky. All right, and we did leave her kitchen out, y'all, because we don't want the girl balding in the bag. But look at it, okay? Yes, I love it. On to the next. I'm going to show y'all. do uh, <laughs> Did not come out right. I'm going to show y'all me doing a few braids at the top. So y'all can see I did add a piece of hair to the very two at the top. So I'm going to show y'all. OMG, y'all. We are finally at the top. Finally at the top. We are almost to the finish line, y'all. I felt like I was never going to get finished with these braids. And this girl did not want to stop moving. I told her no more bringing that uh child to her appointment. Because he was nothing but distractions, okay? And we talk about my nephew Zeus. His ass was all in the way. Kept making her move. He wanted to play all day. Like, girl, please stay still. I'm trying to record you and do your hair. So, yeah, y'all. We finally at the top, the finish line. And I'm about to show y'all how I add the piece of hair, which you see it falling in her face. We did add a few pieces at the top. And all we did was cut some pieces off of the hair, um, off of the dread. We cut some of that hair off and just added it to the top. And y'all, we had 17 locks left. We did not use all locks, which it came with 24 per pack. So y'all do the mat. And just for a little more info, we added the curls at the root for the first two top rows, if you get what I'm saying. So both sides, what I'm working on, they both have a row with the curly hair added on top. So it just made it look more fuller. That's the vibe we wanted to go for. Even though I wrapped some of the curl up, Y'all see it. <laughs> I'm just seeing I really wrapped some of the curl up, but y'all, it's all right. We cut that part at the end because we noticed. But um, yeah, really loving how this is coming out. Okay, girl, your girl is finally done. I'm just showing y'all the 17 locks we did not use. Okay, and we're about to take some uh foam and stuff and freshen up the curls. But I just wanted to come on here and show y'all how it looked soon as we finish and I got her showing y'all her parts and how full it looks and how cute it is and I truly love this 
I said this, this hair. Love how lightweight it is as well. Like, yeah, y'all, super cute. Alrighty, and we're gonna do her baby hairs. Um, I normally don't use this flat iron, but this is what we had at my mama house, so we had to use it. Um, yeah, and we're gonna just curl the edges up and swoop them. That's all. <laughs> And for the baby hairs, we are using the Even 24 Hour Edge Tamer. This is my go to edge control. And if you know, you know. Okay, now that the baby hairs are done, we're going to just tie them down and let them marinate for a second. And we are going to add the mousse onto her hair. We didn't use any water or anything. We just used mousse. And the curls came out super cute. And yeah, y'all, I'm really loving the outcome of these locks. I was like, girl, I wish I had enough hair to give me some of these. I would have kept my own locks, okay? But y'all know I got a pixie now. So had to use her as my model. And they came out so cute. I'm so sorry the camera keeps moving, y'all. But I'm not editing that part out because it's just going to take too much. Because I already started the voiceover. <laughs> so... Yeah, I'm just rubbing my fingers through it just to uniform it a little. And we're going to also style it while the edges are tight. Just so we can have a little extra time for it to marinate. Okay, time for the reveal. Y'all, when I tell you this install came out super cute, I'm fighting with the damn head skull. Come on, my girl. Take it off, my girl. <laughs> All right, here are you, y'all. Like, when I tell y'all, this came out so pretty, super cute. I love that we added the extra curls at the top because it just gave it a little more definition because, you know, it didn't come with the curls way at the top. And plus, we had to wrap it. But here is the finishing results of this hair. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We really love how this came out. And like I said, it came with 24 pieces in each bundle. We got three bundles and we used every last one except for like 17. Uh, and here is just a view of the bag. And then this is a little more uh video sorry for the background y'all just showing y'all what it looked like and i got a few clips from my phone super cute right we ate that up real bad make sure you use my code and i have everything linked below i love you guys so much i'll see y'all in the next video also follow your girl on instagram and twitter at xeel underscore underscore love ya